Hi everyone. Today I'd like to talk about the concept of time in yoga. On average, Australians spend more than two hours a day on their phones. That amounts to about fourteen hours a week, sixty hours a month, or thirty-four days a year. People say time is precious, but we can waste our time on our phones so easily. In Sanskrit language, time is called kala. Another meaning of kala is death, because the true meaning of kala is taking away or minus. Time makes us old. Time brings us to closer to death. I learned recently from my yoga philosophy that it is recommended to have a picture of a crematorium in our yoga practice space. The reason being because、um, the picture will remind us how precious our time is. We need to live our life to full. It is not about winning a race, not about achieving a big goal, but it is about living our life to full potential. My teacher added that this also reminds us to do our duty every day without expectations. The duty could be your work, could be your asana practice, could be looking after your garden, or could be looking after someone special. Whatever it is, we must do our duties without expectations because when we die, these matter more than achieving a big goal. That's what my teacher、um, told us. Crematorium is called a chitta in Sanskrit language, and if you add a little dot, which means m,、mm, it becomes chinta, and it means negative mind. Chitta is burning a dead body, and chinta is burning a live body. We know negative mind such as anger, greed, frustration, and jealousy will kill us slowly. In a way, chitta and chinta are very similar. Yoga is the antidote to chinta. So let's continue our yoga practice, and we can continue to purify our body and mind. Thank you for listening. Namaste.